You go into your shower feeling, but as soon as you reach for the Irish Spring, your day immediately gets better. That crisp, fresh, unmistakable Irish Spring scent zings your brain and awakens your senses. So when you finally emerge from the shower, 37 minutes later, because you pay the water bill so you can stay in there as long as you want, you're ready to take on the day and smell great doing it. Irish Spring Body Wash and Bar Soap. Fresh, green, Irish. Shop now at Walmart. From breathtaking cliff dives to the mega rush of free ride mountain biking, Red Bull harness 5G solutions from T-Mobile for Business to put adrenaline on display. Relying on the strength of our 5G network, Red Bull powered POV drones to deliver unmatched views while broadcasting in real time from some of the most remote locations in America. This is heart-pounding fan experiences. This is Red Bull with T-Mobile for Business. Take your business further at T-Mobile.com slash now. If you have to use one of the running backs, who's one of the return guys now, and they have more of a prominent role, do you bring somebody else in as a returner? You know, I think my job is to prepare anybody that's on a roster, whether they be on the practice squad or active roster, to be ready to, to show up on Sunday. Um, I'm still going to train the guys that have been back there, and we're still going to train a couple guys that are getting opportunities like Amir Smith-Morset. Um, you know, Kay Jackson who also came came on a roster. Uh, and then Egre and Tracy will continue to work at it. What's your concern is ball security on kickoff returns? Yeah, no, I. so I, I've, I've stood up here before and I say the number one thing that is a premium to us is ball security, is taking care of the football, owning the football. And that's something that our players understand too. Um, you know, we, we got to make sure that we're putting them in situations where they're in traffic, where guys are going to be deliberate to punch the ball out and them understanding that the ball has to be high and tight. All the same fundamentals that happen on offense too. Um, but, you know, that is not something that's uh, short-sighted to anybody in our building. we got to make sure we're taking care of that football like it's a bag of money. Our players understand that, and they wholeheartedly want to make sure that they do that. Yep. You have to be happy with Greg last week. Was it something you saw from the week before when he had that miss, that kind of an adjustment, or was it just... Yeah, I, so I don't think one kick necessarily defines uh, a kicker, especially a veteran kicker like Greg Joseph. Um, he did miss that one um, in Cleveland, but, you know, his ability to self-correct and bounce back is huge. You know, and that's why he's been able to kick in this league so long. Um, so I was super fired up for him to go five for five. And, uh, you know, I know he's confident in himself. I think the, the big thing is whenever you acquire somebody else from the roster, especially uh, – from the specialist position, you're trying to gain comfort with a long snapper and punter holding and all that, and understanding that is a little bit of a different um, uh, system. So they want to make sure that they're all working together. And I think, uh, you know, Greg obviously trusts Jamie, Greg trusts uh, Casey, and then ultimately they have trust in them and they've just been working at it. What's it oh. like you to gain that trust with a guy who you, you know, you obviously didn't coach all offseason, coach before, like wh how do you determine his range or where you can trust him from? How do you go about doing that? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, the first week it's, you know, there's a lot of things that you're reliant upon his, uh, his experience in the league and kind of seeing the certain situations, what stadiums he's been at, where has he hit his, uh, his long, uh, long balls, what directions. Um, so those are things that like I pay attention to early as I start to get more and more around him I can gauge a little bit more of, of how he is in this atmosphere um, And then uh, you know obviously in our stadium seeing him pregame that's giving me more and more info on you know kind of where he is so after the warm-ups, you like talk to him and write some down. Literally, you getting his range right then. Like, what do you feel comfortable with? Yeah, there, there there's some game plan stuff that you know we talk about in terms of uh, you know direction and range and, and and all those things. And just you know, a lot of times it's it's not necessarily something he said. I I'm an avid note taker, and he might say something that resonates that might not be something that we're talking about. But I just might jot it down to make certain that um, you know I bring attention to it maybe with another player. Matt Adams came here with a reputation to be great on specials, uh, and obviously he's been out for a while. But when that guy hits the practice field, and I know I know the roster stuff is out of your hands, but when he's ready to come out, his kind of personality, the way he plays, can he kind of re, you know rejuvenate a little bit or bring energy to to coverage teams when he's out there? Yeah, uh, he, a, a true veteran special teamer in this league that. I mean, you guys see him on the practice field. He has energy. He has juice. He practices the right way. Um, that personality is infectious to the rest of our team. And, you know, I know he's been very eager to get back on the field. So it's awesome that his window has started because just him being on the field has been has been great for the guys. Uh, there's a calming presence with a guy that's done it at a high level 
uh, like Matt. And, you know, I know Matt's going to be ready whenever his opportunity comes. And again, I mean, he's done it at this league at a high level, and I know he's he's really excited to get going. With with Seattle, I mean, they added Jay Harbaugh this year as a special teams coordinator. Do you have to go back to see what he did in Michigan, or do you, you know, have they changed it all from your previous encounters with the Seahawks? Yeah. So, um, you know, whenever I'm preparing against an opponent, I think you always got to see. Uh, where their roots come from. Um, obviously, where they've been most recently gives you a little bit of a tell of kind of some things that they've done. Uh, but also, you know, Jay has been uh, he's been in Baltimore and he does a, a one heck of a job. Tremendous respect for Jay. And, you know, he gets his players to play hard. Um, you see that when he was at Michigan. You see that, um, you know, now with the Seahawks, uh, he does a heck of a job. And it's going to be a great challenge for us uh, to go against him. Has it been discouraging to see around the league, not just you guys, how many of these dynamic kickoffs are still resulting in just kicking it through the end zone and touchbacks after special teams coordinators around the league kind of came up with this rule? I don't know if it's discouraging. You know, I think, uh, you know, we're four games in. Uh, there's still, from my perspective, there's always going to be information that you can gather. And I still think it's very early in the season. We're in the first quarter. Um, you know, the one thing that, you know, I'll sit back every week and study the trends around the league. So of the returns, you know, I, I think from my perspective, I could speak on, I just want to gather as much information as possible to make sure we're putting our players in the best possible situation. So uh, whether the touchback percentage is still high or whether the return rate becomes higher, um, you know, I, I think from our perspective, we're trying to gain information, but we'll be ready to uh, cover kicks and return kicks in both. The commissioner said yes, the NFL commissioner said this week that, uh, moving it to the 35 would be a game changer. Do you agree with, would five yards make that much of a difference? Yeah, so I, I think uh, if the rule does change from that perspective, it, it, it changes the trajectory of how you teach things, certainly, um, because now you're succeeding another five yards if you do try and kick a touchback. Uh, but ultimately, like, I think the analytics gotta be able to tell you a little bit more if they do move that yard line and when that does happen. As of right now, we're preparing as it is the 30 yard line, and then we'll, we'll follow suit with that. I was just saying from your studies, your analytics, 25 to 30 didn't seem to matter, but 30 to 35 you think would matter. Yeah, it just keeps inching closer to the end zone, right? So you want to make sure, uh, um, like, at what point at what point does that actually matter? You know, I, there'll be more and more studies with that if the, if the line does change. When uh, Tracy fumbled, you replaced them after that. Just curious what went into that decision. Yeah, n not necessarily a lack of confidence in, in Tracy. He is a young and eager uh um, player that has tremendous upside in this league has already done a lot of good things. Um, it wasn't necessarily anything, you know, a knock on Tracy because he understands the importance of, of holding on to the ball. Um, I wanted to give an opportunity to Amir. You know, I thought, you know, you guys saw Amir on punt return where he had uh, a 22 yard punt return to the logo. So um, wanted to give him an opportunity to return. And, you know, I thought that was a, a situation where, you know, he wasn't playing a lot of offense at that point. So I'm like, okay, let's get him an opt to touch the ball. What is it you guys see it as in Gray as a returner like that makes him viable there because he had trouble catching the ball as a punt returner last year before you were here. I'm sure you know that. And he's, you know, hasn't handled the ball great as a kick returner either. So what do you think, what do you see on the positive side that makes you guys keep running him out there as a returner? Yeah, you know, I, from the kickoff return standpoint, he, do, he has tracked it well. Um, I thought he has the ability to understand kicker intentions. Um, he does a good job of catching it forward and even fielding those liners that are a little bit harder for some returners uh, to have it. So I think, you know, obviously he studies his, his, his butt off um, and he has tracked the ball well and he has caught it well. The running back experience from his perspective is always going to be a strong suit because he has the natural run skill that a lot of running backs have. Um, and he does run hard and you could tell the players want to block for him. I mean, he has he has one of those personalities that is um, there's a very business-like approach to, to every opportunity he gets. And I think the player's respect of how important it is to, for him to be able to have success on that unit resonates with the whole unit. So, um, you know, I think E. Gray has the ability uh, to do it. You mentioned Jackson coming in here. Jackson, uh, we just brought in K. Jackson, right? Um, coming in here as a kicker in the summer, he, he obviously returned kicks under the new rules maybe different than a guy who's had experience in the league, but you haven't been able to see him with the dynamic kickoff. Does that help with your 
evaluation of him to come in and when he has his workout here to know what you're going to get from him right off the bat rather than having to play around and see, okay, can he do this with this? Yeah, so, so, so he is a younger player in general. Right. Um, and I do think he has tremendous upside. Uh, he has shown, he does have some return stuff, you know, two years ago. And obviously uh, in the preseason, seeing kind of what he did with this, with this new kickoff, kickoff return rule. Um, you know, I'd be, I'm excited to work with him because I think he does have a skill set to do it. Uh, the one thing I do see off of the tape, he does have hole conviction, meaning like once he sees it, he's going to hit it and he's going to hit it a million miles per hour. And uh, he had an explosive return in the preseason. So I want to, I uh, you know, obviously keep working with him and see what he can do.